This video will show you how to enter vendor invoices into Job Boss. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your action items folder on the G Drive and go to vendor invoices to enter. Then you want to find your invoices, open it up, then once it's open, go into Job Boss, go to the main screen, click on accounting, accounts payable, vendor invoices, which brings up this screen. Then you want to search for the vendor. We see here it's raised trash. So I'll search for raise, I'll scroll down, double click on raise, and then the invoice number. Some invoices have invoice numbers like we see here. Some do not. Some of our utilities don't have it. If there's no invoice number, you want to just do a six digit code for the date. So if this didn't have one, we'd do 030114, and we'd use that as our invoice number. But since we have one, we'll type it in here, 361-6854. Then you want to hit Tab, and then you select the invoice date, which is 301. The terms, which are net 30. And then you click on the Details tab. There are two ways we enter invoices into Job Boss, and we use those uh, with this white button here either miscellaneous item or PO item. If the invoice is getting charged back to a PO that has already been entered into Job Boss, then we'll use PO item and we'll go and search for that PO number. If not, we'll use miscellaneous item. This means that this invoice has not been in Job Boss yet. So we'll click on miscellaneous item for this one. The account number should be auto entered for most of our vendors. If it's not, use your best judgment to to figure out which account it should go in. And if you can't figure it out, then put it under miscellaneous expenses and I'll go back later and categorize it. Um, if you do that, do not post it yet until I categorize it. So for this one, uh, we see this is utilities and trash. So for total cost, you always wanna look for the current charges. Sometimes there are other, either we're carrying a balance before the invoice or a credit um, you always want to look for current charges. So these are $80 for the current charges. So we'll type in 80, hit tab, type in trash, and that's it. You save it, post it, and then save it again. To enter one that has a PO associated with it, you do the same thing. Click new in invoice search for the vendor double click on Elkhart plating then type in the invoice number 107932-1 hit the tab key select the date March 5th select the terms make sure they line up with the invoice we see here 1% 10 then go to the details tab, click the white page again. Now this time we're going to click on PO item, which will bring up this box. You click on show list. This shows a list of all the open purchase orders for that vendor. And you go back to your invoice, look for the purchase order number. You can see up here in the top left it's 1682. So we'll go and click on 1682, double click on that, which brings it over here to the right. Um, which means that that one has been selected. Then click OK. And you'll see that all the detail has already been filled in there um, when they entered in the PO. Double check that all the quantities are the same. 3,041, 3,041. Double check that the pricing is correct, or if it's not in there, enter the pricing. So we'll do 25 cents. And then you always want to make sure that the total matches up. So we see 760.25 here, 760.25 here. Make sure that the account is in there, which it is, and then you can hit save, post, and save. Sometimes we'll have invoices that have shipping charges or other charges associated with them. If that's the case, you want to click on new again, miscellaneous item, and then add a quantity of one delivery charge and then whatever the amount was. Um, for some invoices, we'll have multiple line items. If that's the case, you'll just 
click, do the first item like we did, and then go and click on this white page to add the, the second, third, and fourth items. Once you're done with that, you want to select the invoice, click the move icon, then you want to move it into the appropriate vendor folder. That's not the right one, so we don't have one. So we'll click create a new folder. And then we'll select that one. Click move. And you're done.